what's up? So a ton of Fortnite storyline information has been revealed regarding the end of season 10, the beginning of season 11, and most importantly, the event happening Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. For those of you guys who maybe haven't been following, there have been a ton of audio tape recordings popping up all over the map at each of the rift zones. And the final one has finally been revealed. And putting all of these recordings together, we get a cohesive and one minute long monologue from the visitor. So what I want to show you guys in this video is show you the recording and then I'm going to take you through line for line and explain what is going on. And then from there I want to use all the information that we've been given to make a prediction for what is going to happen on Sunday. It is so cool that Epic has finally given us something like this and I am really, really excited to see what's going to be going on. So uh, let's do this. Roman, roll the clip. What the seven of us are attempting is very risky. I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever. I speculate that no one calculated the formation of the island, that interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push. Now that I witnessed it firsthand, it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable. When I hear this again, will it help me remember? Or once looped, will I be just as muted as the others? No matter, I mean, it seems the lengthy precautions worked. The Black Theorem was a success. I, us, you, arrived outside the loop at the exact moment of expansion. This effectively paused the singularity, giving us time to create the devices needed to synchronize the junction. What I didn't factor was that the only way to trigger the device was from within the loop itself. Thus, this hasty and primitive recording and why now you, I, find myself looped. Activate the beacon at precisely the moment this timer reaches nothing. The zero point must be contained once more. If they are correct, it will be the end. Um, so... Yeah, this is an all time new for Fortnite. And again, I am so excited. So let's go through all this. The first thing he says is what the seven of us are attempting is very risky. The original visitor is part of the seven along with the scientist, but the other five have kind of been unknown. What we know for sure though, is that the seven are working together. He then goes on to say, I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever. So the visitor seems to be in this sense referring to others, which I believe to be most likely the other people who have been around the map. So the singularities, ice kings, prisoners, etc. He says, I speculate that no one calculated the formation of the island and that interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push. Now that I witnessed it firsthand, though it's obvious that the pinching made it inevitable. So what he's talking about here is the season 10 intro trailer. You know that purple interdimensional area where we see Jonesy flying through full of all sorts of different stuff from the timeline? Well, that's basically what he's talking about here. There was all this interdimensional matter from different moments in our timeline and even different timelines that he thought would not go together to form this big island. But due to an error in his calculations, we basically had the entire formation of this new island, which is finally a confirmation that the season 10 island we've been playing on is not the same that we've had in the past, but rather it's an interdimensional collision. But here's where it gets really interesting and really telling. He says, when I hear this again, will it help me remember? Or once looped, will I be just as muted as the others? Again, it seems like he's referring to the seven. He goes on to say, no matter though, it seemed the lengthy precautions worked, which seems to be a reference to the rift zones. The visitor has been going around the entire season, setting up these weird rift zones around the map which are the lengthy precautions, he says. The next line cuts out, but he says the blank theorem was a success. We're probably gonna have the name of this theorem revealed, I would imagine, as it seems very intentionally cut out. From here though, he says, I, us, you arrived outside the loop at the exact moment of expansion. 
which effectively paused the singularity. And so again, he's talking about the season 10 trailer. Somehow the visitor was able to basically escape time. I think the best way to understand this is that it was something similar to what we see from Jonesy's perspective in that opening trailer. Maybe all the inhabitants of the map had the exact same thing happen to them, including the visitor, or maybe it was because the visitor was in his rifts. We know that following the events of the rocket launch, the visitor was teleported to the in-between, and maybe this is actually why he was able to break out of this sort of moment in time and basically pause it. It's a little complicated, but it is most certainly related to the rocket from season four. But anyways, upon doing this, it actually paused the expansion of the Nexus Sphere or Zero Point Sphere and basically stopped the map from getting destroyed which he then goes on to say gave him time to create the devices needed to synchronize the junction. And the devices he's referring to are the rift zone beacons, which have been popping up all over the map. The junction though, I'm not exactly sure what he's referring to. He then goes on to say, what I didn't factor was that the only way to trigger the device was from within the loop itself. Thus this hasty and primitive recording. So it seems like he has to continue looping himself to continue to activate the rift zone beacons. Thus this hasty and primitive recording and now why you or I find myself looped. He then says activate the beacon at precisely the moment this timer reaches zero. The zero point must be contained once more. If they are correct it will be the end and that is the end of the recording. All right, so that's a lot to take in. Now let's kind of put this all together. So there's been a few theories going around but I think it is pretty clear what's been happening. The visitor is clearly leaving a message for himself. And what this is actually leaving me to believe is that the visitor is the seven. And actually guys, after recording this video, a new skin, the paradigm has just dropped, which is confirmed to be another one that is part of the seven. So with this new piece of information, instead of referring to the seven as just different versions of the exact same visitor, we can almost think of it as actual different timeline visitors. Visually different, but they all represent the same thing from different loops and different universes. Anyways, let's get back to it. A lot of people have been speculating that the seasonal storyline related skins that come with the challenges, so your singularities, your ruins, the enforcer, the visitor, all these people, people have been thinking that these are the seven, which really doesn't make any sense once you hear this. The visitor is setting up these rift zones, which are basically acting as interdimensional bridges or rifts to the other universes, to I guess the multiverse. So every single time he sets one up, he creates a loop. It sends him back in time to the moment he escaped from the pod, able to set up another rift beacon. But I don't think that is enough information on its own to assume that the visitor is the seven. So I've got something else. Have you actually counted how many rift zones there are around the map? We have the original one at Loot Lake, we have Gotham City, we have Starry Suburbs in the north, we have Greasy Grove, we have Paramore down in the desert, and Moisty Palms. So that's six, and I said seven. Well, what if the seventh one is the rocket. Perhaps the visitor has activated the beacons six times now, sending him back for a seventh, which is what we are seeing now. Except in this final loop, he has mechanically modified himself to become the scientist. And what is he doing but setting up the rocket at Dusty Depot? He's created six interdimensional bridges to other worlds, and the final and last piece of the puzzle is the rocket. You see, the rocket is everything. If we want to think back to what originally started this chain of events, we have the meteor landing on the map, the visitor coming out of his pod, hijacking the rocket, and basically creating rift zones. And those rift zones are what has ultimately caused almost everything to happen, from the cube and the butterfly events all the way up to where we are. Now. So what it sounds like now is because time is paused, we have six visitors with their finger on the button about to press these rift beacons. Every time they do that, it sent them back to do it again, but now all six of them have built up and we have the final one. This last visitor, which is actually the scientist, is waiting for his timer to get down to zero. And when it hits zero, he's going to launch the rocket. And what is the rocket going to do? Well, this is a little bit of speculation, but I'll give you what I think. I think what's going to happen is the rocket is going to create rifts which take each area to its own dimension, basically fracturing this weird sort of multiverse realm. 
setting everything back to balance. That's a very basic and simple answer, but it's hard to say for sure. What I think we can confirm from this message though is that the visitor is the seven. He's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. He's aware of the other entities that have been around the map, such as Singularity, but he can't depend on them now. He has to save the universe himself. But that last thing he says is not, if I am correct, it will be the end. He says, if they are correct. And I don't think he's actually referring to himself here because he's always very distinct at referring to him as, as I or, or you. But this they, that's the big mystery. I've talked about Organization X in my big storyline video and that could be the reference or again, it could be entities like Singularity. It's very hard to say precisely what is going to happen, but I do think that the rocket is ultimately going to basically contain or destroy the zero point sphere, all leading to most likely a new map, almost resetting time in a way, I suppose. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the video. So guys, please let me know what you think. I absolutely love doing these storyline videos. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts, your, your ideas here, any critiques you had, comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel as well. Leave a like, I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, actually I'll have another video for you tomorrow. So peace out and uh, yeah. 